Hello, it's Daryl at Good Attitude Services 10 foot truck. And today I'm trying to figure out how I can uh, donate or sell these items that I uh, did for a, a removal. They're in great condition. I vacuumed them, vacuumed them out and cleaned them. They're very nice, uh, great upholstery, uh, no rips, tears, none of that. They look perfect. But I'm having a hard time finding a place that will take them because now. Uh, the places I've called, like you know, Goodwill and, and different areas that that used to take donations of furniture, uh, are refusing uh, any kind of upholstered furniture. They might take like a table, like a wood table or something like that. It's in good condition, but I, I guess they're getting so many donations, or maybe I'm not exactly sure why they're not taking a, a, a good sofa or good chairs. I can understand it, whether they're ripped or teared or they're stained, but these aren't. But they're not taking anything that's upholstered as far as a, like a sofa or chair. So I'm stuck with these in the truck. And I posted them for sale, see if someone will buy them for a really good price. Haven't had any calls on it. And I'm thinking maybe because uh, the, the thrift stores and, and places like Goodwill are no longer taking those type of furniture items, it's possible these are our, our in, you know, becoming more and more of these are being put onto Craigslist or OfferUp or Facebook marketplace for sale. So there's a, a high a supply, a little big supply of these used type of sofas and chairs out there. And that's why it's I'm having a hard time finding anybody who's interested. And, you know, they're very unique. They might not be, you know, something that maybe, you know, you have to find the right person who wants something like that kind of color or that kind of uh, fabric. I don't have a lot of time because I need my truck for jobs coming up this weekend and um, I can't have these in the truck. I have no room in my house. I don't have a storage shed <laughs> and I, I got rid of my storage unit. So uh, like in the past, I had a huge storage unit that I would just put all this stuff in there and sort it out. And I had time to, to clean it and to present it, take photos and put it up on these sites. Or if I wanted to get, give it away for free, I had time to, to uh, post all this stuff. And um, I don't have that anymore in my new area in uh, Spokane Valley area where I'm living now. I have a smaller place than when I was living on the other side of the mountains where I had uh, a big storage unit, a lot more uh, uh, ways of getting, uh, getting rid of the furniture I was getting in, on these removal jobs. Because we get a lot of uh, couches, chairs, for the most part, most of them are really bad, so you just end up throwing them in the in the uh, dump or the transfer station. But these, they're too nice. I would not feel comfortable throwing these out because they are very useful. They, they have a lot more. Someone could definitely benefit from having these because they're not, they're not torn, they're not ripped, they're not stained. They look good. They have really good quality, uh, good quality, uh, comfortable chair it's a good quality upholstery and comfortable and they look nice so why would I throw something like this out in the garbage when I could find someone who could use these I mean I if I had room I put this in my house but I already have another chair that I got for free on a job so I don't have room for these but they're very comfortable it's very soft nice material I can see having this in the house but I don't have room so I'm hoping to find someone because I have to get these out of the truck. But yeah, I was kind of shocked that there's no places left, like in the old days, that will take sofas and if they're in good condition or furniture and they could turn around and sell. Because they have a benefit. They have, you know, a floor space. And when you have floor space, you have people walking in and out and they're more likely to sell than if you're putting up on the internet because you're competing with all these people. It's much more difficult when you're looking online to see if it's something you're going to like until you sit in it and you actually experience how comfortable it is. That's a hard thing to, to uh, translate into a, a digital uh, marketplace where if you have a, like when I had my storage unit, um, I had a big enough storage unit. It was almost, it was like a store. So people could come in and sit down. They could really get an idea of what they were going to buy. And that was beneficial, but I don't have that right now. And storage is, for me, I can't afford it at the, at the moment. But someday I hope to, because that really helped. Plus I had a big garage back then where I could put, I could store a lot in the garage. I had a shop, I had a garage, I had uh, the 
50 foot, whatever you call it. I don't know how many, it was like the size of a bus storage unit. So much room and I, I remember having that thing filled and having the garage filled and having the shop filled with furniture. And I was always posting the stuff and, and uh, trying to sell it or giving it away. But I could look through it and um, now I'm stuck with this stuff in the truck and it's, I need to get it out real soon because I need jobs in the truck. And I can't just put these things outside because out in the elements, they'll just be ruined. I might try to shove them in the house, but right now I got so much stuff in there because I got rid of my storage unit. I put some of that stuff in the house, so and my house is not big, so unfortunately. So I'm gonna drop the price on these, and hopefully, they'll uh, someone will buy them before the weekend. Uh, but I don't know how it is out in your areas, out in different areas of the country or cities. But where I'm at, they won't take these type of sofas or chairs or upholstered type furniture. Not that I, I can't find and I called around. So, and I was told by some of the guys that yeah, it's very difficult. That they, didn't, they couldn't recommend any area, any place because they didn't think that, they were pretty sure that most places don't take upholstered sofas and, and chairs. And of course, my other city that I used to live in, that was happening too there. And because I moved, to, this is the third different city I've lived in and all the other two cities and this one, they're pretty much all like that. Like, I don't know about in other states, how it is, but, uh, or other cities. But I think that's a trend and probably because there's so much stuff being donated and, and not only that, there might be other issues that they're, that they, reason why they're doing that. But uh, we don't know because I didn't ask. Um, so now if you're removing furniture and you get a couch or a chair and it's upholstered in my area, I have to pretty much take it to the transfer station, which I'd hate to do that with these, that's for sure. I mean, I'd like to find a place for these. So I'm working on that. And then it's been a little bit slow this week. So uh, not much other, other stuff going on, but the weather's getting much nicer. So I'm, I'm happy about that. It's like 80 degrees. It's not 100, it's 80. And it's supposed to be like 80s all week and then 70s and 80s. So that's about that. That's about it. And uh, I don't think I have anything else to talk about. That was it. It's 10 foot truck, good attitude services or good attitude services, 10 foot truck, however you want to say it. Uh, have a great day. Signing out.